but we're working on it. All right. Okay. Now we're my name is Andy Schatz, and my game Monaco won the IGF last year, and I'm here in front of the IGF showcase. Yeah, we saw your presentation yesterday, Andy, and it was very pleasant, very exciting. What do you think about the finalists of this year's IGF competition? Well, they get better and better and better every year. And what I like about this year's finalists is not only is are the production values starting to go up, but and in some cases actually the production values have gone down, but the games are getting more interesting. Yeah. We're really starting to explore the space that only indies can explore. Um, and we're stop we've lost the expectation that indies have to pretend to be someone else. Um, so I'm really excited about this year's finalists just in terms of uh, all of the new design spaces that they're beginning to to, uh, to explore for, for you know the world of gamers out there. Okay. Can you rec do you recognize some kinds of te uh, some kind of tendency like is it going more story direction or, or is it going more ludic like you know like game interaction wise or what, what is what is the main direction or is there anything wrong? Uh, I, I think that part of being indie um, really is that we're doing the things that no one else does. It's by, by our nature, we, we're defined by the things that we aren't. Um, because uh, as was said yesterday, indies are really kind of like bacteria. We fill the cracks that the bigger the bigger animals can't get into or can't, you know, there's not enough food for them to feed on. Um, so we begin to explore where like the, the pioneer plants that move into new areas that uh, that no one has been before. Um, and so it changes every year. Um, and uh, where not only does it change, but we but we expand. We expand in all directions. We expand on the horizons of uh, of of where big budget games are today. I think that was a great quote. Thank you very much and good luck with uh, with your game. Thanks.